Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, it's Carl here from lunchboxsessions.com. Let's look at just a very simple concept in hydraulics. I have a control that I can turn that will allow me to magically increase or decrease the diameter of the hydraulic cylinder. What do you think will happen to the pressure indicated on the gauge when I increase the cylinder diameter? Here we go. Did you anticipate that correctly? That as the cylinder diameter was increased, that the system pressure would fall? Let's go the other way. Stands to reason then that as we decrease the cylinder diameter, and of course the piston diameter is decreasing with the cylinder, that's important. As the diameter is decreased, the pressure has increased. Good old Acme block of steel here up on top of our cylinder hasn't changed its mass. It remains the same, but obviously as we resize the cylinder, we're working with different surface area on the bottom of the piston. In fact, in North America, the typical pressure unit is PSI. Square inch is literally there in the term, an indication of surface area. For further information on this topic and to look at it more mathematically, you'll want to have a look at our previous video entitled the FPA Triangle. Oh, here, one last bonus thought before we sign off today. What other activity at the cylinder is changing as I decrease the cylinder diameter? Did you notice that the cylinder extends more quickly with a smaller diameter cylinder? That makes sense, doesn't it? If our flow rate coming in from the pump has not changed, then as we decrease cylinder diameter, it takes less volume in total to extend the cylinder hence the faster stroke speed. Hey, that's it for this time. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.